Yaskawa. <laughs> The first I'm going to talk about is jog. Now, of course, PLC Open has the capability to do jogging. It's just not a very intuitive method of doing it. It uses the MC move velocity function block to actually cause the jog. However, as with all uh, PLC Open function blocks, it's the rising edge of the execute that causes that motion. And removing the execute bit does nothing to stop the motion. So you need to use a separate function block, MC stop, in order to um, stop the motion. Additionally, anytime you make changes to the inputs of the function block, the velocity, the acceleration, the deceleration, you need to re reassign the execute, give the execute again so that the next rising edge will, um, will cause those changes. We've done all that logic for you and put it into a single function block called the jog function block. With the jog function block, and we'll see it in operation in just a second, we have two separate inputs, one to command forward motion, one to command reverse motion. As long as those inputs are high, it will continue to do the motion. Once you remove the forward input, for example, then it will stop the forward jog. Additionally, we have logic in there so that if the velocity, acceleration, or deceleration change, those changes are made on the next uh, cycle of the uh, scan. Let's take a look at that in action. Here we have the uh, jog function block at the top. When I give it a jog forward command, you can see that we uh, jog right up to that uh, velocity of, uh, that we have assigned right now, 10 units per second. I can go ahead and change that velocity if I change that to uh, 15 units per second. You can see down here that our velocity has now increased with uh, no other um, no new rising edge of the uh, input block, anything like that. It changes automatically. Also, if I remove the forward jog command, we go to a stop at the acceleration rate which we have assigned. This makes it very easy. Um, it, it, it saves you from putting in multiple jog blocks. Uh, normally, you would have to do separate jog block for forward and a separate jog block for reverse or switch the direction bit. Um, and there's a lot of logic involved in that. This jog block makes that a very simple task. The outputs of the, of the uh, jog function block are a busy input. If, if we are executing a jog move, the jog busy will come on. Once we are at the uh, velocity that we're commanding it to go, we will see the jog in velocity come on as well. And once we exit the block, for one cycle, the done bit will come on. Now, we can't actually see that in our operation, so I put a, uh, a count up timer here so that every time I execute a jog command, we can see that uh, increments by one. So that is coming on for one um, bit. We also have the uh, error codes as well. These are the same error codes that the MC jog velocity uses. <laughs>